Yo guys, what's going on? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 11 and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at Booleans. Yeah! Alright then, so what is a Boolean? Well, a Boolean is a value that either represents true or false. And we use them in pretty much every programming language going, okay? The reason we use them is to evaluate certain circumstances. For example, you may have a website where a user is required to log in and they log in using the wrong password. Now, if we evaluate that password and it returns false, then we'd say to the user, look, you need to enter your password again. So we've executed some code that does that. If we evaluate that password and it returns true, then we're going to execute some different portion of code, which is going to log the user in. Okay. Now we're getting into the realms of conditional statements there, and we're going to cover that over the next couple of lessons. But this is essentially why we use Booleans in JavaScript and any other programming language. All right. So we use them to check conditions of certain scenarios. So the way we assign a Boolean to a variable is just the same way as any of uh, any other value. We'd say var and we'll call it I like meat equals true, okay? And then if I call I like meat, that's gonna give me this true value. And it's important that you notice that this is not a string, okay? A string would be surrounded by uh, quotations like this. Um, if I reassign it, I like meat equals true. This is not the same as this. This is a key word, it's a Boolean, and this is a string. Okay, we're literally passing through the string or the word true, not this. Okay, so if I do this, it's going to return true within a string, not the keyword, not the Boolean. All right, so I can also reassign it to false if I want to be a vegetarian, and it's going to return false. All right, so we'd use these in, for example, an if statement. So I could be checking whether someone likes meat. And if they do, I'd give them a meat menu. If they don't, I'd give them a vegetarian menu, all right? Now, there's other values that kind of evaluate to true or false, and these are called truthy or falsy. And we can evaluate these expressions to give us an answer. For example, I could say seven is greater than five, and this right here is a comparison operator. It's the greater sign, greater than sign, okay? And we're going to cover these more in the next couple of lessons when we look at if statements. But essentially what I'm saying there is evaluate whether 7 is greater than 5, which we know to be true. So if I click enter, it's going to return true. However, if I say 7 is less than 5, we know that to be false, and it returns false. If I want to say is 7 equal to 7, then oh, it gives us an error. And this is because this right here, my friends, is the assignment operator. Okay, We're saying 7 assign it the value of 7, and it's already 7. It doesn't make sense. We don't want to do that. Remember, we'd say something like var uh, number or num equals 7. That's what we do to assign a value to a variable. So it doesn't make sense in this context. If we want to check whether two values are equal, we have to use the double equal sign like that, okay? Or in some cases, treble. And we're going to get into this later. But for now, we'll just say double. And 7 obviously does equal 7, so that's going to return true. If I put 7 equal to 5, that's going to return false. Okay? And there's other things we can evaluate too. Okay? We can evaluate numbers. However, if I just write 0, that's going to return 0. It's not returning true or false. However, we can check the truthy or falsy value of certain kind of elements or values within JavaScript by using the Boolean keyword. Now that's a built-in function of JavaScript. It's just Boolean with a capital B and then the parenthesis. And then we pass through the expression into this. So we could pass through seven greater than five. And in your code, that's gonna check whether that's uh, true or false. And we can also pass in things like five or six. Is that true or false? Well, that's gonna return true because it's a number. Um, same for minus numbers, it's still a number, so it's going to return true. However, if I pass in zero, like this example here, then it's going to return false, and that's the only number that is false, oh, minus zero is also false within JavaScript, okay? So what else can we evaluate? We can evaluate strings. We could say boolean hello. And what's that going to return? That's going to return back. Oh, that's because I've misspelled Boolean. My error. Um, hello. That's going to return true because the string contains something. However, 
if I evaluate an empty string like this with nothing in it, that will return false. So there's many different truthy and falsy values in JavaScript. It's not just these keywords, but essentially what we're doing with all these different expressions is we're evaluating them to get back a true or, or a false value. For example, I might be checking whether a certain um, input on a form field on a website has been um, some, you know, some text has been entered into that. If there's been nothing entered into that and the string is empty, it's going to return false. And I'm going to say to the user, look, go and enter something into this form field is required. Okay. So that's what these kind of things are for. And we're going to use them a lot in this playlist. In fact, we're going to use them in the very next video where we're going to start looking at if statements. So I'll see you guys then. If you have any questions about this video, then feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those questions. Otherwise, please like, share, or subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.